I am Dr. Nima Kulbani Mujarad, and I am a lecturer and optometrist in the University of Bradford. The rise of the COVID pandemic in the last year has caused an increase in the amount of gaming and screen use in the general population. I'm very interested to see if we can build some scientific evidence behind curved screens in terms of its reducing any visual signs or symptoms of digital eye strain. So MSI have teamed up with us at the University of Bradford to look into the science of curved screens. So a curved screen in theory should reduce eye strain because everything is in the same plane of focus that you would normally have when viewing something. This experiment is aiming to look at the use of two different curved screens. So today we have two participants coming in. They'll test one screen on one day and come back and test the other screen on another day. They'll be playing on either a 1000R or a 1800R. The 1000R is the more curved screen. We'll be doing the visual checks before, followed by the actual experiment, and then we'll be doing post-vision checks. First test is an assessment of vision and visual clarity. The second is an assessment of low contrast clarity. The third is an assessment of the ability to focus at close. Another test will include a scan of the back of the eye. Next test is an assessment of the quality and quantity of tears. Following that, we have an assessment of the health of the front of the eye. And finally, during the experiment, we'll be assessing the blink rate of our participants. Now that we've done the baseline experiments and measures, we're now going to do the experiment with the game. We've selected a dynamic game so that there is a lot of concentration and uh, visual changes involved. During this time, we'll be monitoring blink rates as well as watching non-verbal signs of eye fatigue. My tentative predictions are that people will favour the more natural curved screen. That water is incredible, the detail. I think people will feel more immersed. They won't show non-verbal signs of uh, eye fatigue as much when using that screen. So now that we've concluded the experiment, we're going to repeat the measures that we did at the start to see if there are any differences. Here we're testing the ability for our participants to focus up close items, as well as maintain that focus up close. Anecdotally, people are very positive about the more curved screen. So the physical experience today with the screens and yesterday with the screens have been um, quite different to what I'm used to. It's, you know, it's been a much more easy experience than I, I've had before. So much detail on that. I do find sometimes that the reason I stop playing a game is because my eyes are sore. If, uh, if a curved screen means that's not the reason I'm stopping playing, I, that can only be a good thing. I preferred the more curved screen. I was able to uh, find myself falling into that game and, and was much more intimidating when the, you know, the, the bandits were try chasing me down. So yeah, it was, it was incredible. I believe screen use in the future is only likely to increase. I think we have to let the results and science of, of what we find out about curved screens shape what manufacturers begin to make in the future. The ability to use technology to try and avoid or, or reduce symptoms of any eye problems would be amazing.